Regular watchers will know that I was at a workshop at Aramont School of Arts and Crafts last month and I made these utensils. It was wet wood, I cycled it through the microwave a few times while I was at Aramont, but they've just been air drying inside for the last month. And yesterday I cycled them through the microwave several more times just to reduce the moisture content. So today I am going to finish them. I'm just gonna hand sand them. This was uh, what I intended to be a butter knife or like a cake knife. I fully intend to use it to spread my cream cheese on my bagels. This is made from persimmon and it was mostly hand carved, but it was shaped on the blade with a spindle sander. This is intended to be a letter opener. I tried it on a letter recently and I feel like the tip was just a little too fat, so I'm gonna try to narrow this down, sharpen it out a little bit so it is a little more effective. It's made from oak and I burned the handle with a burning tool. That's how I made this texture. This is a spatula made from the same oak. I turned this end on the lathe first and I had a big chunk on this end. It was kind of looked like a mallet or a carving mallet or something. And I cut most of the wood away with a bandsaw and then sanded it with using a, a belt sander and a disc sander. So these two were pretty much made with all power tools. And these two were pretty much hand carved. This spoon I made, I didn't intend it to be useful as a spoon. I just wanted it to be a sculptural object. But anyway, I'm just gonna hand sand these and finish them up with some butcher block conditioner. Bonus news, I just passed 10,000 followers on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram, so go check me out and you can stay up to date on the things I'm working on. I think I'm done sanding, so I'm gonna put some of this product on here. This is a butcher block conditioner. It's uh, just a combination of mineral oil and waxes. And it's good for sealing up the wood without leaving a, a film finish. Cause you don't want a varnish or something flaking off in your food if you're using it for food. Although this won't be used for food, but I'm gonna use it on here anyway. And this probably won't be used for food either. I don't know, I might put, I might put a uh, white bond varnish on this one. You're supposed to put this stuff on warm, so I've got it sitting in some hot water. So I've actually decided that I'm gonna put Busher's Block Conditioner on these two, and I'm gonna put white bond varnish on these two. Cause this isn't gonna be used on food, and this isn't gonna be used for food. At least I don't think so. Dang it, look what I did. I guess it's getting some of this stuff on it after all. Ah, heck with it. I'm not gonna use this. I'll just put this stuff on all of them. I really like how this turned out, if I do say so myself. So I just need to let this sit for a little while and I'll come back, put a little more on, let that soak in and then buff it later. Just really like that feature. I have to admit I'm pretty pleased with how these turned out. I only sanded them up to about 220 so they're not, they're not polished or anything. But still, it certainly makes me want to try more of these in the future. I would have to get myself some uh, carving knives, or at least sharpen up some of the knives I have around here in order to do some carving. Anyway, I hope you're inspired to maybe try some of these for yourself. I didn't feel it was really difficult, but it is certainly time consuming if you were, if you were going to do it all by hand. Some people just enjoy the process of carving. Me, I like the process of eating. See you next time in Cammy's Garage.